Hello, again guys, in this video. I am going to test the GPU power of the newest S22 Exynos 2200. Exynos 2200 is powered by Sclip's GPU which is based on AMD RDNA 2 graphic architecture. Let's test with last year's S21 which is powered by Exynos 2100 which features a Mali graphic. We gonna find out if Sclip's GPU really good. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Alright. For this test, I am going to use Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. It is a longer test that shows how the device performs under longer periods of heavy load. This test is three times more demanding than Wildlife's normal test. We will go for two rounds and let's find out how much power this Eclipse GPU has. Round first, the result seems almost similar. S22 scored slightly more than S21. The result shows only this much on Exynos 2200 side. I think this app still needs some updates to recognize this device. As this phone is still not official. I will not go through the battery or any temperature data. The battery lost percentage is almost similar. Let's go for the second round. Round second, in the second round, the numbers make sense. The best loop scores dropped hugely on S21. The drop is almost 80. Whereas Exynos dropped the best loop scores by 12%. The lowest loop scores didn't drop dramatically like the best loop scores. The stability in S22 was 69%, whereas S21 was 99%. Let's go for the third round. In the third round, S22 dropped its best loop score around 29%. Where S21 seems unchanged. As S21 was running this test in the lowest loop all the time as result stability is almost 100%, where S22 has changed in the loop. The stability jumped to 84%. Therefore we can assume that the device is heavily stressed. As the bonus test round, I it's do the famous wildlife stress test, remember that after all this test, these devices are extremely exhausted. S21 best loop score is lower than S22 lowest loop score. The best loop score of S22 is 48% higher than S21. The stability is 69.7 in S22 in comparison to 98.8% in S21 Exynos 2100. That means sustained high performance by S22 Exynos 2100. Battery, frame rate, and temperature information are not available for S22. But I must say that Exynos 2200 is little bit power hungry than Exynos 2100. The outer temperature of both devices is almost similar. What I think is that GPU is really good on Exynos 2200. Thinking the chipset will get a lot of optimization from the developers in the future. Exynos 2200 has a really good future. This is just a first generation graphic. I am happy that Samsung is on the right path with the Exynos vision. I will be testing Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset very soon. I will compare with Exynos. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel.